Hi, my name is Brian with The Seat Shop. At The Seat Shop, what we do is we manufacture factory original seat covers, which allow you to replace just what's worn out instead of having to redo the entire interior. Most of the time, it's the driver's bottom seat that wears out first that you need to replace. Uh, one of the main concerns we get from a lot of our customers is asking how the, uh, the new cover is going to match up against the existing top cover, which has, you know, is going to have several years of wear and dirt and grime on it. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a tip on how to clean your leather so it ensure a, a great color match from the new, brand new factory bottom to the uh, existing top cover. Here is an example of an actual factory cover that we've replaced and we went ahead and cleaned the center section of this to show you the difference, the drastic difference in the section that's been cleaned and the section that's not been cleaned. You can obviously see the center section has been cleaned so when you get your new cover the, your seat top cover is going to be very similar to the wear and tear on the outside of this. So when the new cover comes, it's going to be a, a spot on match to this clean section. So I'm going to walk you through how to clean your leather so it's going to come out like this so you're not putting a brand new cover up against something that looks like that. Alright, our magic cleaning solution is none other than scrubbing bubbles bathroom cleaner. You can get it at Walmart or any you know, grocery store in the cleaning aisle. It's just it's about two or three dollars a can. Scrubbing bubbles foam bathroom cleaner. Now this stuff is not what you want to clean your seat with repeatedly. It's good for a one-time scrub whenever you're installing your new cover. Once you clean it, one good scrub with this, you want to keep up with cleaning your leather with what we recommend as Mothers. Uh, the Mothers cleaning products are great and their conditioners are, are fantastic as well. One-time scrub with scrubbing bubbles, follow up um, with routine cleaning with Mothers leather cleaner. Now, I'm going to go ahead and clean a, set, a small little section here so you can see how, how I apply it and how to clean it. Go ahead and shake the can up a little bit and spray your section and take your little uh, scrub brush. Alright, we got our scrub brush. We'll spray a little more on here. We're going to go ahead and start scrubbing here. And you don't have to press real hard. Just go back and forth quite a bit. Just get, you can see how the, the white foam is starting to turn real dirty and brown. We're getting all the dirt off. we we'll take our rag. And wipe that section. Look at all the dirt we cut off. That just that one little section there. Now it may take a couple times going over it. One time may not get it all. Just go ahead and reapply some. Start scrubbing it again. And go ahead and come back over it with your rag and clean that up. Now it's going to take you a little while, but eventually it's going to come out where like it's nice and clean here, just like in this section. That way it's going to ensure a great match with your with your existing cover to the new cover you're putting on there, so it's not going to stick out. All right, I got one other tip for you guys. When you're cleaning your seat top cover, if you've got a section that's that's really worn, uh, like it's about to rip through, such as this section right here, it hadn't completely torn through, but it's really frayed. If you start scrubbing it with a with a bristle brush like this, it's going to do more harm than it is good. So to clean, if if your seat top has a section similar to this, go ahead and spray it with your scrubbing bubbles, but use only the rag to clean over, to wipe over. Just wipe, wipe real, real easy with your with the rag. Go ahead and take the brush out of the equation because you risk tearing, go ahead and tearing that, that section open there because the bristles are going to really rub on that. If it's real brittle like that, get rid of the brush, foam just the scrubbing bubbles in a rag, you'll be set. One last tip for you, after you've cleaned your existing seat with the new, with the scrubbing bubbles uh, bathroom cleaner, you want to come back over the existing leather with a good leather conditioner. That's going to go ahead and get the moisture back in the, into the leather. The scrub bubble certainly is not designed to clean leather with all day every day. So you want to come back over it and get the moisture back into the leather. That's the main reason to use the, use the conditioner. It keeps the leather moist, keeps it from breaking down, and it's going to last a whole lot longer if you keep it really good in condition at least once a month. Go ahead and apply some, uh, some leather conditioner. We use Mother's conditioner at the shop. You can use Mother's, McGuire's, Lexol. There's quite a few good brands out there, um, but as long as you put some on there, you're going to be in good shape. All right, now you know how to clean your existing leather so it matches up with your new piece. Remember to go ahead and check us out online on our website, www.theseatshop.com. Uh, you can check out all of our products there. We carry everything for all the Chevy, Ford, Lincoln, and Cadillac, the full-size trucks and SUVs. We carry all the driver's bottom as well as pretty much every other piece for the interior. So if you need something other than just the driver's bottom, we got you covered as well. Uh, check us out. We also carry the third row seats. If you've got a Suburban, Tahoe, Yukon, something like that, and you're missing the third row seat in the back, we carry those as well, all the factory colors, uh, material, cloth, leather, whatever you need, we should have it in stock. 
check us out. If you got any questions, give us a shout. We'd be more than happy to help you out on the phone. And uh, that's about it.